Hey guys how's it going now regardless of how many features and productivity enhancements that Microsoft keeps on adding to the Windows experience we all know that. We love installing new apps every day to well enhance the overall experience and productivity of our system and well if you're one of those this video is for you. This is one from Sierra Academy and in today's video I'll be talking about 10 of the best apps that you can install on your Windows PC let's get started. Alright so the first thing that we need to do is protect our online activity and we all live in a connected world right and it's important to secure our online identity the best way to do that. Get a good VPN my choice Proton VPN we've already done a thorough video talking about why Proton VPN is one of the most secure VPNs out there but just to give you a brief it's because all of the great features that it packs in such as NetShield Secure Co and much more Proton VPN is one of the rare free VPNs that give you unlimited data and bandwidth it also does not log your browsing activity and ensures that no government can snoop into your data it uses 256-bit encryption to safeguard your data from hackers while also offering open VPN and IKEA v2 protocols the Servers in the free plan are limited to the US Japan and the Netherlands but for the security features that you get I still think that this is one of the best free VPNs to choose from other than that. Proton also offers Proton Mail to further protect your online activity it offers end-to-end -end encryption and lots of other great security features to keep your communications private add to that by default Proton Mail doesn't even track your IP addresses. Next up we all need a good office app for a PC right now if you have bought a new laptop in the recent times there is a possibility that your OEM might have given you a license key for Microsoft Office but if not and the majority of those guys who do not have a L licensed copy of Microsoft Office how about checking out a free alternative such as LibreOffice. LibreOffice is an office suite that closely resembles Microsoft's offerings now unlike most of the suits out there that only offer three alternative software LibreOffice has Writer Galaxy Empress draw base math and charts. It feels like a premium alternative to Microsoft Office except that this is free and open source and it comes with a full flash file compatibility so switching from Microsoft to Libre will be easy for most users that being said. Now moving along we all need a good and powerful photo editor now regardless of whether you are a noob or an advanced user paint.net should suffice all your photo editing needs. It offers a tabbed interface allowing you to work with multiple projects at once and offers all the tools available in premium editors like Photoshop the interface while being slightly outdated is quite easy to use and pretty easy to adapt to. What's more is that you can even install additional packs to it to enhance its feature set. Now when it comes to installing a good media player on your PC VLC has been my go-to recommendation for ages that's it I recently switched to 5k player. And I haven't really looked back because it's really really good 5k player can do everything that VLC can and then some you can support for all the various media formats. And what's more is that you can also stream and download videos from online portals inside the app it supports wireless streaming of audio video via AirPlay and DLNA with zero quality loss and even allows you to play radio thanks to its built-in radio player. Now it goes without saying that Microsoft Defender as good as it is isn't really up to the mark well if you're serious about protecting yourself Malwarebytes anti-malware. Is the way to go for this has the best malware detection rate out there and it does so without hampering your system at all it includes protocols for rootkits which are particularly tricky to detect. It also provides a full report history so you can compare past scans and pop-up guidance for other different types of threats. Next up we all need a good compression tool my go-to recommendation has been 7-zip and it still is because it's free open source and still great like I said 7-zip is completely free on open source and supports all the compression formats out there so whether it's zip rar or tar 7-zip can handle it all you can use it to create your own archives as well and the compression ratio is pretty good too. Okay now since we're on the topic of downloading new apps how about getting a new download manager I recently discovered Migma. And I have to tell you it's a damn good app right off the bat the interface is the most modern and clean looking out there across all download managers but it's not all beauty. The software does a pretty good job of fetching files from your browsers or you can even add them manually and the schedule feature is pretty good too it offers pretty much. What you would expect from a good download manager with easy to use interface and super fast speed acceleration. Now we all have multiple online accounts right well instead of remembering all the individual passwords for each and every account. How about just remembering one master password for a good password manager well my recommendation for that has been one password. 
1Password offers the latest 256-bit AES system to encrypt your data and allows you to enable multi-factor authentication to protect your world against intruders. It generates a unique secret key for every user who signs up to the software and every time you sign in you need to enter this long weird string of letters. And digits to unlock your world it sounds kind of complex but then it becomes literally the only password that you would ever have to remember. Okay so Control c and Control v are easily one of the most commonly used shortcuts out there that we use for our productivity needs right well what if I told you that you could enhance that level of productivity enter data. Data is basically an extension to the standard Windows clipboard where it saves each time that you copy onto the clipboard and allows you to access them later as well. This includes any sort of information be it images text videos basically any custom format the best thing about Ditto is that you can configure. How many clips can data store and when the entries will expire what's more is that you can create groups and manage clipped items accordingly. Alright now if you're someone who's coming from Mac OS you know that Spotlight is one of the most greatest features that Apple's introduced I mean even. If you haven't used Mac OS you've probably seen it on your friend or someone using Spotlight now wouldn't you like to have that feature on your Windows PC. Thankfully there's Launchy for that using Launch is simple install it and configure the directories you would want it to search once it has finished indexing you can launch the search panel anywhere. By just tapping all space now you can search anything be it apps images videos or just about any other files if it's in the directory you indexed Launchy will show it. You can find the download links to all of the apps that I talked about down there in the description box also if you found this video helpful make sure. To let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content till then this is from Sira Academy and as in the next one.